Hey folks, Sam here with Sam Wood Outdoors. Time to start the pellet gun reviews. First one we're gonna do is on my Benjamin Marauder 25 Cal. This is the one you guys been begging me to do. Um, and since it's one of my favorite guns to shoot, I figured why not start my pellet gun reviews with my favorite gun. Now, in my reviews, I'm not gonna go into a lot of technical mumbo jumbo and shoot through chronographs or anything like that. I'm gonna tell you guys the real life skinny, a uh, real deal. Um, I shoot this gun a lot, so I can tell you about it and give you my honest opinion, things I like, things I don't like. Um, so that being said, let's get started. This is the one I always shoot. It's 25 cal. I shoot a 27.8 grain pellet that's actually made by Benjamin. I got lucky. When I tested this gun with different pellets, this is the pellet that it actually shot the best with. So that's the pellet that I use. Um, whenever you guys are shooting a pellet gun or just get it for the very first time, I suggest that you invest in what they call the sharpshooters pack. Um, and it gives you, you can buy them in each caliber, 177, 20 cal, 25 cal, and a 22 cal. And it just gives you a wide range of pellets to test fire through your gun. And that'll tell you which one it shoots the best. Now, just because my Benjamin, or my... Marauder shoots these Benjamin pellets the best. Doesn't mean yours is neither. So you guys got to make sure with that. We'll get more into depth with that later. But I'm lucky enough. It's going to be quick and easy, peasy, jack and easy because I shoot the crap out of this gun. So we're going to shoot it today. We're going to shoot it at 25 yards. This gun is capable of shooting 100 yards and shooting uh, probably inch and a half groups at 100 yards. Not a problem. Um, but the weather's crappy. I've been trying to get these videos done. I need to move on because I got other stuff going on. So we're going to do it here. Lucky enough, here in my shop, I have a 25 yard range. So that's what we're going to shoot. And to be truthful, that's probably what most of you guys are going to do. You know, you're going to shoot 25 or 50 yards and then go from there. <clears throat> I have a mill dot scope on here made by Centerpoint. Um, so I know my gun and how far I got to raise and, and stuff like that. That'll all come with time. This is a 3x12 scope made by Centerpoint. Actually, I don't think they even offer this scope anymore, which really sucks because I like this scope. But it is what it is. Um, when you're shooting PCP guns, you really don't have to go out and buy a scope that's designed for a pellet gun. Because unlike the, uh, the brake barrel guns, the spring guns, and the uh, nitro piston guns, the recoil on this is not a double recoil. So uh, it, it won't tear the scopes up. Too. You can just put whatever scope you feel comfortable shooting. So that's a good thing about it. Um, to get set up, the gun's going to run you right around 500 bucks, give or take a little. Um, I would definitely go with a synthetic stock if you wanted to keep it looking pretty because I will show you this. I shoot the crap out of this gun, and you see all the nicks. This side's really bad. I have knocked the uh, plate off the bottom there. So... Um, it is pretty durable because I've, like I said, I've beaten the crap out of this gun. Um, it's been all over the country with me. Uh, I killed uh, hogs with it. I killed a 60 pound wild hog. Um, I definitely could, wouldn't put it past to shoot a bigger one. So I like that, that it's got plenty of knockdown power. Um, factory specs are factory. What the factory is telling us, Benjamin is telling us 900 feet per second with a 25 caliber pellet. Now, I believe that's alloy shooting indoors, probably in a vacuum chamber. It's all, I think, marketing hype. Um, I've never got mine to go that fast. Uh, mine's probably shooting right in between 750 and 800 feet per second, which is still plenty of power for the average guy, for the more than average guy. Squirrels, rabbits, coons, possums, fox, coyotes, not a problem. Pigs. Um, luckily enough, this gun shoots amazingly tight groups, so I can go out and shoot pigs and you can hit them in the head and get it done. They don't recommend it. I don't recommend it. Just got to know your skill. Um, gun weighs in, they're telling me at 7.3 pounds without a scope. You're putting 8.3 with the scope on it probably, maybe uh, closer. You're probably looking at 9 pounds, you get a sling on and everything else, so it is heavy. It's tough to lug this gun around, um, out squirrel hunting or anything like that. Got a couple other guns I'd like to shoot that for. So, but anyways, has a eight-shot rotary magazine. It says that uh, you can get two shots, two clipfuls, 16 shots, accurately comparable with one fill. Now, what do they mean by a fill? 
like I told you before, this is a pre-charged pneumatic. It's not a pump-up pellet gun um, per se like this. It does have an air pump, like a bicycle pump, that you can use. If, great if you're just getting started and that's what you want to do. I have one. I would use it in an emergency, but uh, I'm too fat and out of shape to use it all the time. I'd probably end up with a heart attack. So what I do and what most of us shooters do is we get a scuba tank or a fi carbon fiber tank that's designed to do this. You just unscrew this off the end and it has a male nipple sticks out. Just happen to have my scuba tank here. And on the scuba tank, we got a little hose. And what you do is you hook that to your gun, open the thing. It has a gauge on the bottom right there where you can watch it to fill. It takes, uh, it will go up to 3,000 PSI. Um, but I only fill mine to about 2,700 because that seems to be the sweet spot for this gun when I shoot it. So, that being said, let's talk about going out and shooting. Now, I don't have to shoot a bunch of different pellets out of this gun. I know what this gun shoots. It shoots the Benjamins fine, does an awesome job, so that's what we're going to shoot. Some of my other reviews, you'll see me talk about um, different pellets and uh, how we should shoot. But let's get started. I'm going to put the scope cam and everything on this gun. we got a target 25 yards down range. Um, and we're going to shoot this gun and show you what it can do. So let me get that all set up and we'll be right back. All right, guys, here we go. Time to do some shooting. Now, normally, if I am to do a review on a pellet gun, I'm going to shoot a bunch of different kind of pellets through it and show you why some of you are having problems shooting pellet guns and what you should do to correct it. But this one, I just don't have a bunch of different pellets for it. I have owned this gun for five years. I've shot it a ton. I beat the shit out of it. Um, and I know what it shoots. And it loves these uh, Benjamin... 6.5 millimeter pellets. It loves to shoot them. I don't have no problem. That's what I shoot and that's what I got a bunch of. Um, just to give you a comparison, this is a 177 cal. That's a 22 cal and this is a 25 cal. Now I shoot it. It's a 27.8 grains. So let's get started. We got air. We got uh, five shots in the magazine and we got our scope cam on her here. Um, if you guys like this scope cam, I'm going to put a link where you can uh, go to that video where I made it. It costs like 15 bucks to use as a smartphone. It's pretty kick-ass. We'll even show some footage at the end here of me uh, shooting some birds and stuff with it. But let's get started. Here's our scope cam. We're ready to go. We're on video. We're going to get started. Here we go. So what I like about this scope cam, one thing I'll show you here. Here's that 3 power. Here's that 12 power. And then I can take and make that bigger on my face of my, uh, or my screen of my iPhone. So now let's get started here. Safety off. And here we go. <clears throat> First shot. Touch the red. Here we go. Second shot. Just the other side of the red. Here we go, third shot. Here we go, fourth shot. And now for the fifth. But here we go. This will be the last shot. Five shot group. Um, we'll go ahead and tell us a lot. That last one was probably the pellet, maybe a flyer. But let me go down there and retrieve that target. And uh, we'll uh, see how we did. Pretty good group. That last shot kind of screwed the whole group up. But that's okay. Sometimes you get a little flyer. Pellet could have been dented or something like that. But all right, here we go. There's our shot group. That was the last shot. Otherwise, the rest are right in there. Got the orange shot out. So, three-quarter inch group without that last shot. And if we count that last shot... Uh, 
that still puts us at a one inch group a little bit over so that's pretty dang good one inch group that's uh 25 yards that's freaking awesome and like i said without that flyer we'd have had a three quarter inch group um can't ask for much more out of a pellet gun uh you will see just a little variation every now and then of the pellet not so much on these pcp guns as we do our springers and our uh, nitro pistons but uh so that's it for this part of the review um probably uh, let me rank this gun and all my guns that I own, my 7mm Remington Mag since I had when I was in high school has got a 10 out of a 10. That is my favorite gun. This is a 9.99. This is my favorite screw around gun. You cannot go wrong. Um, and they have stepped up their game <clears throat> in the last five years. So if you're looking to get into PCP guns, the Marauder is a great starter gun. You know, you're not going to spend $2,000 on a gun like some of them other ones. And you're going to have... For the average guy, and I'm not even an average, I'm probably shoot more than the average guy at pellet guns. I probably went up there in the summer, I don't know. But I love this gun. Recommended, 9.9. .9. Let's show you some scope cam footage of me killing some stuff and some pictures of some stuff that I've taken with it. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to be doing a lot more of these. It was fun. And uh, this is the one you guys all waited for. So thanks a lot. 12 about a 70 yard shot pretty makeable steady here got him this is a long shot this is probably 75 yards got him